go to those teachers and talk to them personally and ask them how they're doing and how I can help them with the position. And then I enable the principals to also support um, most of the young a lot of young people, when I came to school a long time ago, here you go. Uh, now, what I'm trying to do is, is bring that, that person along as a, as a faculty member and engage them in, the, in their daily work day. And then as the year goes along, keep the status and bringing them along, um, make them feel a part of the, of the uh, infrastructure oh, of the staff. And uh, if you don't, like, I can the shortage when we're looking at applicants. At one point, uh, you used to have up to 50 applicants for teacher openings. Nowadays, you have as few as five people applying for an open position. I know there's a school in your area in Southern Illinois that couldn't find a math and science teacher at all. How do they end up handling that? Right, they have actually brought back the once a week or twice a week to make sure the curriculum keeps flowing and then they sub that job out the rest of the week uh, to the sub who just make sure that things are turned in. Uh, also, we uh, use that line curriculum and math uh, like Khan Academy. The most curriculum today is global and all that flowing, so there'll be a lot of uh, coaching teams out of sub versus hiring a teacher. It's not that they don't want to hire a teacher, but that's the time. I can't find one. <laughs> hey, bro. <clears throat> when I see when I see black people, that's how I smile. At, I smile at them like this. <laughs> I don't do that. That's like the smile people give you. When <laughs> you ever have somebody give you that smile like this? That's how small that black people. <laughs> I'm being silly. <laughs> that's a dumb, that's like the dumbest smile, ain't it? Like you just watch, like you just watch somebody do something bad, and you try to be nice about it. Like, I don't know. That's an unusual, unusual way to smile at somebody. But I'm fitting to go to the market because I got me a little money. I need to get some food because if I don't eat, well, I'm gonna get hungry. And then I have to eat benzo cane. I'll have to eat a bunch of jar, a bunch of. Uh, Things are aura gel. Get that benzo cane in your stomach so it doesn't so your stomach ain't hurting. That's what you do if you're poor and you can't afford food and you're hungry as hell and your stomach hurt. Eat some aura gel. It has the the main active ingredient, benzo cane, which will numb your stomach. If anyone is that hungry or in a position they're eating actual aura gel to not be hungry, well that's that's pretty pitiful. That's pretty sad. Um I'm not gonna be in that position because I'm fitting to go give me some food. Number one, we're gonna put steaks on there. Steaks. <laughs> yeah, look. Oh, you thought I was playing around, huh? <laughs> no, steaks. <clears throat> All right, made my list. <laughs> steaks. <laughs> I'll make a list later. I'm trying to enjoy a drink and have me a smoke. A smoke. One of these things. You gotta have some of these.
something ain't right, something ain't right. Hold on for one moment, excuse me for one moment. Take my jacket off. I'll try to get a little bit more comfortable here. Alright, remember guys though, if you see, if you're white and you see any black people, smile at them like this. That's the proper way, that's the, that's the most respectful, politically correct, and polite way to smile at people. Like, you smile at somebody like you, like you just watched... Like you just watch someone steal, steal their dad's porno porno magazines or something. I don't know, but that's the proper way. Good job.